AI is changing paid advertising online in 2019. Without a doubt, this is a great opportunity for you now for about three to six months before your competitors will catch up with you. We're already in the process of rolling this out for our customers and we are seeing huge returns on investment already. This is a game changer. If you're not already looking at Google audiences for your paid online advertising, you are missing out and you must watch this video. So what are you gonna learn? You're gonna look at this in three steps. So number one, it's gonna be the history of how we've got to where we are today. And then number two, we're gonna look at how to think more strategically about your online advertising using Google AI with audiences. I'm John Pankhurst, The Morning Marketing Man. If you found the video has given you some value you can take back to your business, please like or share on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, please click the subscribe button because every new subscriber I get really encourages me to add new content back to the community. And if you're watching on LinkedIn, please like it. Okay, let's get stuck into this video. I was at Google headquarters in London this week. I was at a conference on how machine learning is gonna dramatically increase returns on investment for people using display ads. What really struck home was the word fast. They kept on talking about everything is changing quickly and the speed and rate of change and how fast everything's happening. So initially, back in like 2000, we had SEO, then there was a big shift about five years later, the fact that everything had to be mobile friendly or built for mobile first. And there was this big surge for social media and pumping your, your messages out through social media. And now there's paid advertising on social media. And now we're looking at machine learning, AI, learning how people engage with your brand over a period of time or where they might be searching for your brand. It's gonna give you a big return on investment. We are particularly looking at display ads on Google right now, and this video is about that. So before, display ads were not a great return on investment because it was a, like a scattergun approach. You had your brand being on loads of display ads and you couldn't see a return on investment. It was quite expensive. But with AI now, you can define your audience, see where they are and where they're going to be and predict that and get a greater return. So let's give you an example. A display ad will cost about 10%, 10% of the cost of a search ad. But what is key, you've got to start thinking more strategically. So display ads, if you just switch them on, they don't really work. They just increase brand awareness. The moment you start adding audiences to them, things change, things get interesting. So let's think of an example here. If you were about to buy a house or you were looking to buy a house, you'd probably go to Rightmove. You'd search on Rightmove for a house and then you'd buy it. And now three or four months later, you've moved in and you knew that you needed to make some home improvements to this house. And you would start to look for architects architects or potentially kitchen designers. And then at that point, you might be even looking at kitchen accessories. So if you step back from that, using an audience within Google Ads, you can actually say, I know these people that search for a house at that time, three months forward, are going to be thinking about putting a kitchen into their house. And then you can start to target that kind of person, isn't that powerful? So this video just cannot be a how-to. It would take at least two hours for me to show you how to define an audience within Google Ads and then manage it going forward. But what I'm gonna do is give you six bullet points that you can look at and uh, either implement yourself or start to talk to your agency about making sure they are doing this for you already. Two uh, articles you should read on Google. One is about Google audiences and one is Google audiences live events. And these two particular type of AI audiences, you can use them, combine them together and actually really target where you're gonna display your ads. And then look at the type of landing page or so the type of product that someone might be searching for and then you can start pushing hard with your ads. Okay, let's look at the, the six key things you're gonna need 
to do this. So number one, don't sit in front of a computer. You need to be in front of a whiteboard or with your team and sit down and knock ideas around with each other to decide where people are, what they might have been searching for or looking at before they came to your product or service. Because you need to find people early on in the funnel. Put yourself in the shoes of your buyer. Try and understand. So for the, the architects out there that might be thinking about this as a strategy, think about what kind of websites they may have been on before they came to your website. The next thing to do is define where you want to place your ads. So for instance, if it's a kitchen company, you might want to be placing ads on kitchen accessories. So if someone's going to be looking at a big American fridge freezer, chances are they're already looking at design and they're looking at uh, either fridge freezers, ovens, even inserted microwaves. So you've got to think about where they're going to be searching to buy and then you can place display ads on those sites. Next thing is look at your audience. So the demographic of your audience is really key. If someone's a home mover, the chances are they may not have your budget if they're under 35. If they're sort of 35 to 45, it might be their second home and they might have the right appropriate budget for your product or service. So think very carefully about what kind of people they are. Are they single? Are they married? Male, female? Um, it's all very important because you want to really fine tune this audience so that you're not wasting any money on your display ads. The next thing you need to be creative about your display ads themselves, they need to be eye catching. So ideally they'll be animated. Uh, even better would be a video ad. And the copy needs to be really on point because people at this stage, they may just be thinking about a new kitchen, for example. And so you just want to have some tantalizing pictures of new inspirational kitchens for people that are thinking about that design journey already. I've been John Pankhurst, the Morning Marketing Man. If you found this has given you some value today, you can take back to your business. Please like or share on Facebook. If you're watching on YouTube, please click the subscribe button because every new subscriber I get really encourages me to add more content like this. And if you're watching on LinkedIn, please click the like button because that will share it with your network. Have a great day. Oh,